Let's go to our final caller with you, Alex. First time caller. Hi there. Hello. Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, I am uh, Belma, and I live 100 miles from Dallas. I was living in Dallas at the time, and I had my car parked behind that Texas Depository book building. Yes, sir. I saw the shooter came out, and he had a very high-powered rifle. It was no bolt action. And, uh, that well, now, and let me ask you, please, because that rifle that they said Oswald used to kill Kennedy was apparently left upstairs. It so was. You're saying, you're saying you saw someone else come yes, out sir. with a high-powered rifle. Okay, tell me what happened then. Okay, I'm sitting in my car, and there's a gray, dove-colored, old, one-seated Plymouth car sitting there. And there's a man with a belt hat on with a wide band, and he had on a suit, and he had black hair and real heavy eyebrows, and he'd look at me kind of dirty. Well, about that time, a police car come and told this man to move, and he, he didn't move right away, and the police got out of his car, and I know later it was tippet. And he told him, he said, I said move that car. Well, then this man that's in this old gray car he went straight on around and went around this big building that was across the street from me. Tippett went the other way, so they must have met back there. Anyway, this man... Well, there, were, there were dozens of witnesses that saw a bunch well, let me, of Well, let me ask you this, uh, Alex, because we're ready to, uh, to hit the hour here. Did you say this to the Warren Commission, ma'am, or anybody else? I haven't told anybody because uh, I didn't want... I had four children I was having support then and I didn't want to get shot and I saw the man and uh, I could tell you how he's